Hello and welcome to AI Bankrolls, another video. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Today it's the December 9th, 2018, 8.37 p.m. here in Las Vegas. We are excited to share with you that we are releasing our intermediate strategy in January 2019 for everyone out there. But at this point, it's available to our beginner student only. Now, today we'll be talking about the importance of sticking to the strategy to be a consistent winner. Because early this week, we were playing Baccarat in a big casino here in Las Vegas and one gambler not only lost his money, but also made other people lose their money. But before we go over there and talk about it, I will play one session for you guys. I will be maintaining my own score sheet, as you already know, using our very own AI bankrolls backright strategy to gain at least six bytes of our total bankroll. Our starting bankroll is 499, which is 500 right now. And our goal is to make at least 150, that is six bytes. Please stick through the entire video because you might going to learn something very important tonight. Let's go ahead and play that. Looks like it's a choppy. It's going player, banker, player, banker, player, player three, banker two. Um, all right, let's go ahead and do this. Our base bet going to be a $25 and uh, we are going on banker based on our strategy. We lost that one, no problem. Player. Okay, we gain one byte over here and we also recover the byte that we lost in the previous hand. At this point, I'm not going to follow the player. I'm going against the pattern over here and go banker. Maybe I'm right, may not be right, whatever the case is. We will overcome any obstacle over here. So basically it's a tie, no problem. Now I'm changing my bet. We lost that, no problem. Going on banker. Seven, eight, the ego. And that's, that's the whole goal of sticking to a strategy that you have to have absolute faith for what you do. No matter what strategy or what protocols that you follow, you stick to that. You don't change. And we will explain you why you don't change towards the end of the video. Over here, I'm going one byte banker. Eight, eight, wow, too many times over here. I will keep my bet same on banker. Wow, this is unbelievable. Eight and eight, what an odd. Five, zero. We lost one byte over there. I'm going to double. Nine, three. We lost three bytes altogether. Going on player, it looks like it's going to go jump on banker. But the strategy say go on player. So here we are on player. Now, at this point, yes, people must be saying... I'm going to go on banker, but actually I'm not. Whether I lose or win, I will stick to my strategy. Going three on player. Wow, this is amazing. Now, because we have a tie over here, I'm changing my bet from player to banker and going three on banker. Okay. We are two bytes up over here. Moving on. One byte on banker. Three, six. We got one more byte. One more on banker. Wow, these ties. People must be mad at me right now why I'm playing ties. Tie is a whole different ball game. Basic, intermediate advance all three strategies we say don't play on tie once you reach to an expert level you have to have a separate bankroll or separate buy-in to play on ties and you will never mix your money on that that's why we have a very strict policies to control your finances moving on 
banker. Please tell me no tie. Oh wow, another tie. Guys, so sorry, this game is out of control. I, I wish I can just take away the ties, but I just cannot. So I have to just bear with me. I'm going through the same thing. Okay, glad at least we lost that bite. So we can move on. Okay, all together three losses. Going on player. No problem. Stick to this strategy. my score sheet real quick okay my score sheet says don't go player it says go banker we're moving banker uh, please keep your eye on uh, we have 492 we are almost back to our bankroll now we are going five bytes on banker because that's what the strategy say We lost that, no problem. Moving on. We lost that too. Okay. My strategy says go on player. Interesting, huh? We were almost down our bankroll, and here we are. We have technically achieved our goal. It's 640, but it's technically 650. But I will play a couple of more hands for you. This will this will happen to you. This will truly happen to you. If somebody is telling you that you will never lose your bets, you're never going to lose your buying, you're never going to lose your bankroll. Well, that's a total lie. But if that happens, what's your plan B? And this is where AI bankroll comes in the picture. We have a plan B if in case you lose your buy-in. If in case that was our last bet and you saw the power of sticking to a strategy. If you don't have a strong strategy and if you don't have an absolute faith in what you do, you're not going to go that far. Moving on, I'm playing a couple of more hands. I should technically stop over here, but still, I'm playing a couple of more hands for you to show you guys how powerful our strategy is. All we want you to have faith and you stick to the program. You don't change. You don't wonder. You don't doubt. You just do because we've been doing it for like years and years. A lot of testings, a lot of development. Let's go ahead and play this. I'm going player. It looks like it's going to go banker, but still I'm going player. Sorry about that. You see? 7 to 6 and we got that. Let's play a couple of more hands for you. Tie. No problem. I'm changing from player to banker. There you go. One more banker. Going two on banker. Okay, we we should stop at this point because we are way over our goal. All right, let's talk about something that I wanted to share with you today. Let me drink some water, please. Thank you. So early this week, we went to a casino to play Baccarat. And it was a mellow evening, and not many people were there because it was early evening too. 
We were playing at a $50 minimum baccarat table. There was also a couple on the same table. We got into the game and for a long time we were only few bites up. We reached to a point where we were down almost half our buy-in. Just like this game, we were almost done with it, but here we are, way beyond our profit goal. It happened to us because it was a little unpredictable shoe and we struggled a little bit in the beginning. Just like this game, we struggled a little bit in the, in the beginning. It was definitely a player's shoe because players' results were more than banker. One thing we noticed that every time player comes three times in a row, banker comes. So it was clearly a pattern. Anyways, we continued playing and not only managed to recover our losses, but also achieved our profit goal. That time, we decided to stop playing and observe the game. The couple next to us have been losing money left and right. And at this point, they were almost done with their entire bankroll. Towards the end of the shoe, that couple put their last money against the pattern where normally after three player banker comes. So they decided to just go against the pattern and bet on player, hoping that player will come and they will win, at least recover a little bit of their money. One guy came up to the table. He was holding some chips in his hand. So it means he either changed his money just now or have been playing some other games and wanted to try his luck on the baccarat table. Anyways, he looked at the screen and he saw the same pattern where after three player banker comes. So he put around, if I'm not wrong, he put around 2200 on banker, hoping that pattern will continue. That couple looked at the 2200 bet on banker and immediately changed their bet from player to banker. They must be thinking that this guy is going to help them win some money and pattern is going to take place. Anyways, dealer pulled out the cards and gave banker's cards to the guy who bet 2200 on banker. The guy asked the dealer to show the cards for player and dealer can technically show the cards if nobody bet that side. Dealer showed the cards and his face was priceless because it was a natural 8 on player side. He slowly started looking at the cards while couple were screaming, natural nine, natural nine, natural nine. It was a very intense moment for all of us. When the guy opened his cards, it was total one. So his total was one and the dealer had eight. So it means he lost his 2200. The guy and the couple was extremely upset to see that. And they were really angry. We heard a woman saying to his partner, why didn't we stick to the player? Why didn't we stick to something that we knew that's going to come? So, so that's, that's the story. That's the story for you guys. Here's the moral of the story for you. You have to have absolute faith in what you do. Many times you have series of losses because of following a strategy. Right before the table is about to favor you, you change your whole strategy and start doing everything you stood for. And by doing that, you take more losses. Losses to the limit where you lose your buy-ins, your entire bankroll, then you're frustrated and everything after that goes against you. So that was the story we thought to share with you guys to stick to the strategy. So I hope you learned something today that at least losing or winning, you stick to something that you stand for or you believe in. Now, on the other hand, please remember, whatever your level of play is, we brought you a very strong strategy based on thermodynamics. Please read a very important page on our website where we explain how we did everything that we do, why we stick to certain things, how we tested that, and why we believe what we believe. Anyway, so that was the whole story. Please check out the important links in the video. Visit our website, aibankroll.com. We will see you in the next video. Till then, you take good care of yourself and play responsibly. Signing out.